Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason Pizzino. Thanks again for joining us on the channel. If you're new, consider subscribing down below, hit the bell notification icon so you can see the updates as they come through and hit that like button. Helps us a lot out in the YouTube algorithm. Let's try and get the channel to 50,000 subscribers during this cryptocurrency bull market. All right, so for today's video, I wanna jump into Ethereum. It's been highly requested time and time again. We have been tracking it almost on the every other day. This time, I wanna take a look at the macro picture because a lot of people are asking the question, should I buy now? Starting to get thrown out of their positions. This is the volatility that we've been talking about for a number of years now. We've been buying cryptocurrencies since 2017 on the channel, but more importantly, during the bear market crash. Now, most notably, it was between that $150 to $300 range. Sure, we didn't get the 80 bucks, but that level now seems absolutely amazing considering Ethereum is at $1,100. So just in a matter of less than 12 months, we've gone from the March low to the current closing price, giving us 730%. Now, obviously a lot of us believe Ethereum has got a lot further to go. We think it's probably gonna to go to 2,500, 3,000, 5,000, 10,000. There are even calls for Ethereum to go to $27,000. I'm not one of those people, I'm not here to blow hopium up your ass in the cryptocurrency space. It's just not gonna be beneficial for you. If you've got $27,000 in mind, it's going to skew you from the action that's happening right now. Now, I know a lot of you are probably not gonna watch the video right through. I'm probably gonna jump on the title, get into the comments, should I buy now? I'm telling you, how to look at a chart. I'm not telling you what to buy, when to buy. I'm suggesting when I'm looking at areas to buy because I like it for support and resistance. It's historically been a good area to get into uh, Ethereum, but I'm not telling anyone when to buy or when to sell. That's financial advice and I'm no financial advisor. So that's the kind of talk you can expect on the channel. I'm sure if you've been around a while, you know that's how I present throughout the videos. But on my thumbnails and the titles, you've got to get to the masses. We've got to help people understand not to get thrown out. Don't day trade. I'm not financially advising anyone. I'm saying day trading is probably going to lose you money. Over 80% of people will lose money, almost lose everything, if they day trade the markets. It seems like a fantastic idea. Maybe you hate your job and you want to get out and just make some money out of cryptocurrency because everyone else is. Believe me, they are not making the money that they say they are, especially in those MLMs and Ponzi schemes, definitely not. And the guys who say they're making money, it's usually just all paper profits. Their market goes up, you know, they've bought in way at the top after everyone else has bought and they bought at seven or $800. Now they're up at like 50% and they're, they're, they're laughing. They're just like, oh, I'm making all this money. I, I almost guarantee you they are not making the money. I've been around investing and trading for over 15 years and that is pretty much the trend when it comes to people raving on about how much they make. So that's my little talk there around mindset and keeping us in the game because that is the most important part when it comes to trading. Looking at the chart's great. We can read it, taking the emotions out, but if we can't hold our positions and we start losing our minds, we're gonna lose regardless. So looking at the monthly, we are coming up to a double top. Will this play out and head us all the way back down Personally, I highly doubt it. I think we're gonna slice through this just as Bitcoin sliced through its all-time high. It's just a matter of time. We're seeing very, very high volume this month. Will we break past the old all-time high volume? Yet to be seen, but it's looking pretty close, right? We are at nine and a half million. The average is nearly five million. And the COVID crash month was 10 and a half million. So I think we'll get there by the end of the month. I think we'll be the highest volume month. With that said, I would wanna see this close of the month above the close that we saw in January of 2018. So three years ago when we hit that all time high, the close is important. That's gonna provide us information around whether the crypto is strong or weak. If it closes below these levels, probably looking a little bit weaker than we would like. It's not the end of the world, but it's looking a little bit weaker and it might just take a little more time to push up. So keep that in mind when we come to timing. No one can tell you when the market will break through. We're just basing everything off probabilities when it comes to 
uh, technical analysis. So currently we're at 1108, the close in January was at 1105. So we're teetering with that at this point. Let's start to zoom in on the market a little bit more. We have the macro view. We're still in a bullish sense of everything. It's still looking bullish. Uh, before we do, let's put on the 20 MA. We are well down here. We don't need to look at that right now. It's a monthly chart. Let's go down to a weekly and see where we're sitting. Weekly is at $560. Now remember this moves, it will head up with the rest of the market. If the market holds at these levels between 800 and 1300, then of course the moving average is gonna come up a lot higher. And that's gonna give us a nice area for the market to come back and possibly test. But remember, it doesn't have to test that level. It may, it may not, it might not even touch it. It hasn't touched it since May. Every single time it's come close to touching it, just briefly misses it and heads up again. So keep that in mind. Maybe we'll see a spike into it. Maybe we won't. It doesn't really matter. At this point, everything is still pointing to a bullish market. We have seen a very high volume week. Maybe that's a top, an intermediate top. I don't, as I said, I don't think it's the long term top. But right now, weekly, still looking strong. We're closing above uh, two weeks ago's close. Will we close above last week? I don't think so, but I'm not overly concerned. Long term from this point, I want to see at least a few weeks to a few months of accumulation, somewhere above our level of around 800, 850. That was some old support and resistance of the high setback in April 2018. So we just get a horizontal, throw that on our chart. There's the 830. So somewhere in around that point, nowhere below, maybe a spike, quickly come back above. That's cool. All right, so that's still leaning to our bullish sense of Ethereum. We're still there, still looking good. Now I wanna throw on my FIB, just connecting it to the low here. That's $313, that's 310 to the high. We have bounced off the 61, so we've retraced, corrected about 38%. Now I'm using the FIB tool rather than the measuring tool because we wanna measure the ranges and just see the strength within this current range, not necessarily just how much it's fallen in a percentage because that's gonna change no matter which part you put it on, on, on the chart. Like I put it down here, 37% looks ridiculous, whereas you put it from the top to the bottom here, it doesn't look so bad. So we wanna have a look at the range itself and 50% comes out dead on 830. 50% is a very strong level of support. These three in particular, the 61, the 50, and the 38 are all levels that I would be comfortable with the market pulling back to, finding support, and then moving again. So even 38 looks great, which would mean it's a 61% drop. We get the highs here, come in, support, move again. That all looks good. It all still leads to a bullish Ethereum for me and another fantastic area to buy in. The next thing I wanna have a look at, that's what it leads me to, is the buy levels. Where would I be buying? Let's move down to a three day chart, just to get us to a little bit closer to the action. Now, the highs are right way up here, of course, 1350. It's a little far away to say, I'm only gonna buy as the market breaks that high, but that is the most conservative entry if we get a break of the swing top. If you don't know what swings are, let me know in the comments down below. If you wanna learn a little bit more about that, I do have my course coming out this month. Find my website in the description. Do not click anything in, in the comment section. Find my website, drop your email address in there, and I've got a massive discount coming out for the first 100 people that sign up for the course, all right? So I'm gonna talk about swing trading for long-term investing. I do not day trade these big markets. It's not worth my time. I'm going to make more by buying and holding for the swings and understanding where these markets are going to start to fall. Right now, I don't see it happening. I really wanna see this go sideways for a bit, but we'll wait and see. So the buying and selling points for Ethereum, if I want to dollar cost average in, now's obviously a much better time than buying at the tops. If I wanted to wait and see what happens, the next thing I wanna see is where these swings end up. We don't have a signal at the moment because this was an outside day. What I mean by that is the top went above the previous day's top and the low down here went below the previous day's low. Currently, we're in a inside range. Now I know it's on a three day chart, but essentially it doesn't matter what time frame we're on, we're just looking for support and resistance areas and a sign of the direction. The direction is gonna come out a lot cleaner 
on larger timeframes. That's why I like to stay with the weekly, not necessarily the monthly, but even down to the three days, cool. One day starts to add in a little bit too much confusion. And I know for many of you, you are watching the one minute charts or the five minute charts or refreshing your block folios and you just don't know where anything's going. If that happens to you, get rid of that crap, come back to a three day chart, even a weekly, and you can start to see the trend play out a lot nicer, a lot smoother, and you don't have to worry about it so much. It's only when big signals are broken that we're gonna get a big change in trend. Ethereum, should we get another move up, maybe another day up, another day back? Then I like that as a swing setup, right? And then as the market breaks high again, there's your entry. Right now, this is our current entry. So if we happen to get a move where maybe we head up a little bit, then back down, a little bit like this, another move, and we end up making a swing high here, I would be entering above that level, right? So we see a swing, a swing, a higher swing, there's the higher, only once this day comes in. So this is what I'm looking for to play out. I think something like that could happen. I think a lot of people have thought, yep, let's buy the dip, this is the only dip and we're heading back up. I think they're gonna get caught out and uh, probably, possibly, see the market trend up. They all get hopium back again. This thing's going to the moon. Maybe it even goes above, but on low volume. And then we just start to see it just head back down and take them out, take them out at that sort of 900 to 850 level. That would be ideal, not because I want people to lose money, but because it starts to clear out the old mindset or the fresh people in there that are just thinking they're gonna to go to the moon straight away. We need to clear that out. We need to clear the forest down. You know, the, the fire has to go through and clear out the forest, all of the dead wood, all of that crap at the bottom so that we can grow fresh again. And then that growing process may take some time, a few weeks to a few months, even better. Then we can shoot off to the moon from that point. We can see that happen in the previous cycle as well. So I'm gonna drop this back down. I will keep it at three day and just move back to 2017. And what we had was a massive move up. We had a big, big, big correction. From that point, the market was able to slowly recover. It took its time. It was about six months before it shot off to the moon again. And if we wanna head back even earlier, we had this correction through March into May. So it wasn't too long from the top until the market broke through again, which is this bar, I'm not gonna include this one. Uh, 13 bars, 39 days, a month and a half. Anyone, if you can't wait a month and a half, you don't deserve to make the money you do, all right? You You've gotta be patient in this because that's where the money's made, patience. If you were buying through here in Ethereum and you saw this tank against you, then it starts to make its comeback. Patience paid off. And the guys buying Ethereum at seven bucks and 12 bucks, 13 bucks, obviously made, 1,000x returns, thereabouts, something massive, all right? That's the point here that I'm trying to make. This is about the long-term hold, not day trading. Signals are all still bullish. My buy and sell areas haven't changed from the last video. I'm still liking the chart patterns. And like I showed you, they're the sort of patterns that I'm waiting to play out. We don't know what's coming here. And all we do is try to figure out what will happen if I see a pattern like this start to play out? What will I do? What will happen if I see a pattern like this start to play out where it just shoots straight up? I'm gonna get more scared if that happens and I'll probably be selling if that just keeps shooting straight up. I'd rather see it move its way sideways and then, and then back up. That's a much, much, much safer pattern. And so that's pretty much what we're doing here. You're just programming your mind to see things so that you can be prepared for them. You wanna be prepared for all ways that this could play out. Straight up, sideways, up and down sideways, slightly up sideways, slightly down sideways, maybe up, straight down, start to move its way up, and then you recognize the patterns. That's all this is about. So I wanted to leave you with that for Ethereum. We will touch on it again. I'm sure you'll have questions, so let me know down below. If you found some value from it, hit me in the likes, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, icon and join me for the course by adding your email on my website there. Huge discount coming for the first 100 guys. So make sure you've dropped your email down there and I'll let you know when it's out. Thanks again for joining me on the channel. It's been my pleasure. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.